Hello everyone. Today we are going to study about deadlock prevention. Okay. So in our last class we see what is deadlock and uh, what are the necessary conditions for deadlock. Okay. So the first thing you have to know that in a system the deadlock happens when all the four conditions that we have studied in our last class the four necessary conditions that is mutual exclusion, fluid and weight, no tension and circular weight occur at the same time. And if measures are taken to avoid these conditions means at least one of them to happen simultaneously then deadlock can be prevented to occur in a system. Means कोई भी इन चारों कंडीशंस में से कोई भी एक कंडीशन या दो कंडीशन अगर सेटिस्फाई नहीं हुआ डेडलॉक के लिए देन वी कैन प्रिवेंट द डेडलॉक सो लेट अस सी फॉर ईच कंडीशन व्हाट नेसेसरी मेजर्स कैन बी टेकन सो एस टू प्रिवेंट योर डेडलॉक सो द फर्स्ट वन इज योर एलिमिनेट म्यूचुअल एक्सक्लूजन सो दिस Condition can be best avoided if system has only shareable resources like your read-only files, log three data structure, etc. And if there are shareable resources, the process need not to wait, and hence no deadlock. But in reality, it is. But in reality, it is not possible to dissatisfy the mutual exclusion because some resources such as your CPU, writable data structure, input output devices, your printers, these are inherently non-shareable. And mutual section from the resource point of view is the fact that a resource can never be used by more than one process simultaneously. Which is fair enough, but that is the main reason behind the deadlock. And if the resource could have been used by more than one process at the same time, then the process would have never been waiting for any resource. Okay. So, thus the deadlock cannot be prevented each time by avoiding the mutual exclusion. So here is the term. One term used here is pooling. By spooling, how do we prevent the deadlock? So, for a device like printer, spooling can work. What do you mean by spooling? Spooling refers to the placing of data into an intermediate storage area where it is held and into the computer which is ready to process. And this storage area called spool. The full form of spool is simultaneous peripheral operation online, and it is used to enable device to sharing among the user process. So there is a memory associated with the printer which stores the job from each of the process into it. Here is the job. Here are the job that is uh, job one, job two, job three, job four, job five. Okay. So letter printer collects all the jobs and print each one of them according to the first come first serve basis. By using this mechanism, the process doesn't have to wait for the printer, and it can continue whatever it was doing. So letter, वो क्या करता है ना? It collects the output when it is produced. Okay. So although spooling can be effective approach to avoid mutual exclusion, but it suffers from two kinds of problem that is your this cannot be applied to every resource every resource ke saath hum log ye apply nahi kar sakte mutual to prevent mutual exclusion bol rahe hai na and second one is after some point of time there may be arise a waste condition between the processes to get space in that spool okay so we cannot force a resource to be used by more than one process at the same time since it will not be fair enough and some serious problem may arise in performance so therefore what will happen now we cannot violate the mutual exclusion for a process part practically okay so next come to eliminate hold and wait <coughs> so to eliminate hold and wait there are two main approaches are used 
the first approach is that allocate all the required resources to the process before the start of its execution. This way, hold and wait condition is eliminated. Okay. So, what is happening before the process of execution start karta hai, usse pehle wo, usko jo jo chahiye, us, wo wo resource ko wo request bhej dega. Okay. So, suppose I am writing, uh, I want to write something. So, what do I need? एक पेपर चाहिए एक पेन चाहिए अगर मुझे नोट्स उतारना है तो आई नीड द नोट्स ओके सो दीज आर द रिसोर्सेस सो वैसे ही वो क्या बोल रहा है ना जब वो अपना कोई भी प्रोसेस अपना एग्जीक्यूशन स्टार्ट कर रहा है तो उससे पहले वो सारा रिसोर्स उसको कौन कौन रिक्वेस्ट भेजेगा तो सिस्टम क्या करेगा तो सिस्टम क्या करेगा ना यहां पे for the example, if a process requires printer at a later time and we have allocated printer before the start of its execution, printer, printer will remain blocked till it has completed its execution. So, what is happening here? The request uh, process bheja tha, system must allocate all the requested resource to the process. Uh, this means pre-allocation approach. So, this example is that if I have a printer in 10 minutes or 10 minutes, and if I have a process in process, I have a request to the process. I have a request to the system, and the system has given me to the printer. So, I have a printer in 10 minutes, and I have a request to the system. So, I have a printer to the system. I have a printer I can't share this printer to the other process. So, what is happening here? The printer will remain blocked until it has completed its execution. So, 10 ghanta ho, 5 minute ho, 1 minute ho, jitra bhi minute ho, jab tak ki wo first process apna kaam complete nahi kar deta, the next process has to wait for that resource. Yaha pe. Okay. So, the process will make that the second one, this, uh, jaise ki uh, first approach mein aur ek example hum log uh, le sakte hain. Suppose a process want a copy, uh, a data a copy data from the PDD type to a file on disk and then print the disk file data then before beginning its execution the process must request all the process uh, all the following resources that is your DVD drive chahiye, usko disk file chahiye, usko printer chahiye, print karne ke liye, okay. and the second approach kya hota hai na? the process will make a new request for the resources after releasing the current set of resources this solution will lead to starvation so starvation ka matlab tum log ka hai na starvation mein kya hota hai na starvation is a condition where a process does not get the resources it needs for a long time because the resources are being allocated to other process and it is generally occurs in a priority based scheduling okay so, what is the resource? If I have a resource, I will leave the resource. 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 Then only I will request for the next resource. Okay. So, here, this can be implemented practically. This can be implemented practically if a process declares all the resources initially. However, this sounds very practical but can be cannot be done in the computer system because a process cannot be determine necessary resources initially. So, the process is the set of instructions which are executed by the CPU and each of the instructions need demand multiple resources at the multiple times and the need cannot be fixed by the operating system. So, the problem arises here that is practically not possible and possibility of getting start will be increased due to the fact that some process may hold a resource for a long time okay so here these things happen jaise ki agar uh, main dvd drive ka main example di thi to once the process copies the data from dvd drive to file on a disk then it wants to print that disk file. So process needs printer. Usko printer hoga. But to request for printer, process must release the allocated resources. That is, first we kya allocate kya tha? resource uh, uske paas hai, DVD drive and disk drives. So usko chodna hoga. 
सो प्रॉब्लम यहाँ पे क्या होगा ना वहाँ पे अगर मुझे प्रिंट करना है तो आई नीड दैट डिविडेड राइट ना सो अगर मैं डिविडेड सॉरी डिस्क फाइल को अगर छोड़ दूँ तो हाउ कैन आई प्रिंट ओके सो दिस आर द प्रॉब्लम्स सो दैट इज़ वाइट इज़ प्रैक्टिकली नॉट पॉसिबल देन कम टू एलिमिनेट नो प्रिंशन प्रिंशन मीन्स वी कैन वी फोर्सफुली टेकन आउट द प्रोसेस मीन्स दिस हैपन्स इन द केस ऑफ प्रायोरिटी सिडूलिंग सो प्रायोरिटी बेस्ड प्रोसेस में क्या होता है ना प्रिंट रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस वन द रिसोर्स इज रिक्वेड बाय अदर हाई प्रायोरिटी प्रोसेस ओके सो अभी के टाइम में तुम हम लोगों का ज़्यादा प्रायोरिटी है जैसे कि पढ़ाई का ना ओके यू कैन प्ले यू कैन डांस यू कैन डू एनी एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटी बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट इज दैट यू हैव टू स्टडी अगर तुम लोग स्टडी को छोड़ के अगर नहीं मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि पास हो जाऊँगी मेरी दैट्स नॉट द प्रायोरिटी प्रायोरिटी इज टू स्टडी स्टडी तो करोगे तो ही ना पास हो गए ओके सो ऐसे ही तुम दैट इज मैं जनरल केस सो डेडलॉक अराइज ड्यू टू द फैक्ट दैट अ प्रोसेस कैन नॉट बी स्टॉप वंस इट स्टार्ट तो डेडलॉक में क्या होता है ना कि अगर एक प्रोसेस हम लोग नॉर्मली देखते हैं प्रोसेस जब अपना काम स्टार्ट किया है तो जब तक वो अपना काम कंप्लीट नहीं कर देता तब तक वो कंटिन्यूस चलता रहता है सो हाउ एवर इफ यू टेक द रिसोर्स अवे फ्रॉम द प्रोसेस विच इज कॉजिंग डेडलॉक देन यू कैन प्रिवेंट डेडलॉक हो सकता है सो दिस इज नॉट अ गुड अप्रोच एट ऑल सिंस इफ वी टेक द रिसोर्स अवे विच इज बींग यूज बाय द प्रोसेस देन ऑल द वर्क विच इज विच इट हैज डन टिल नाउ कैन बी इनकन्सिस्टेंट वो कंसिस्टेंट होकर नहीं रहेगा जो चल रहा था मतलब मे बी हो सकता है कि जो परफॉर्मेंस हो वो इनएफिशियंट हो सकता है ओके सो इन दिस अप्रोच में वो फर्स्ट अप्रोच क्या बोल रहा था कि इफ अ प्रोसेस हैज सम रिसोर्सेज एलोकेटेड टू इट एंड वॉन्ट सम मोर एडिशनल रिसोर्सेज दैन चेक इफ द रिक्वायर्ड रिसोर्स आर अवेलेबल If the requested resource are not available at that time, then and cannot be immediately that cannot be immediately allocated. So then, instead of making the process wait for that requested resource, print all the resources currently being held by the process, and add this printed resource to the list of resources for which the process is requesting and waiting. So after some time, then the process can be allocated to the old resources. Okay. प्रोसेस कैन बी अलोकेटेड द ओल्ड रिसोर्सेज ओके तो विच वेर प्रिंटेड इन बिटवीन ओके कोई एक प्रोसेस से उसका रिसोर्स ले गया ले गया था जिसका जो प्रायोरिटाइज प्रोसेस है वो ले गया था ओके सो जब वो उसको वापस मिलता है एंड द न्यू रिसोर्सेज विच प्रोसेस वॉज रिक्वेस्टिंग इट कैन री स्टार्ट इज एग्जीक्यूशन तो अगेन उसका जो एग्जीक्यूशन रहता है वो री स्टार्ट हो जाता है द सेकेंड अप्रोच क्या बोल रहा है ना इफ द प्रोसेस एज रिक्वेस्ट फॉर सम रिसोर्स देन चेक इफ द रिक्वेस्टेड रिसोर्सेज आर अवेलेबल और नॉट सो टू थिंग्स हैपन्स हेयर दैट इफ द रिक्वेस्टेड रिसोर्सेज आर अवेलेबल एलोकेट दिस रिसोर्स दिस रिक्वेस्टेड रिसोर्स टू द प्रोसेस एंड इफ नॉट अवेलेबल देन चेक इफ दिस रिक्वेस्टेड रिसोर्सेज आर हेल्ड बाय सम अनदर वेटिंग प्रोसेस सो इफ येस देन प्रिंटेड प्रिंट the required resource from the waiting process and allocate it to the requesting process and if no then the requesting process goes to wait state and some or all of its resources can be printed if there arise some request for those resource okay so after some time when the process can be allocated the old resources which were printed in between when the process was waiting the new resources which process was requested then can it can restart its execution so consider a printer is being used by any process if you take the printer away from the process and assign it to some other process then all the data which has been printed can become inconsistent and ineffective and also the fact that the process cannot start 
printing again from where it has left which causes performance inefficiency suppose maan lo tum ek kaam kar rahe ho suppose koi aaya aur forcefully tumse wo jo bhi kaam kar rahe ho usme jo resource aap use kar rahe ho usko mil gaya okay so isme kya hota hai na ki agar mujhe koi alarm nahi mila hai तो मैं क्या करूंगी ना मुझे कैसे पता वो ले जाएगा वो रिसोर्स तो वो रिसोर्स वो प्रोसेस आया मुझसे वो रिसोर्स ले गया तो नेक्स्ट टाइम वो अगर वो रिसोर्स में मुझे और एक बार मिल रहा है तो क्या मैं हाँ अभी इतना में अटकी थी इतना ही ये हो जाएगा कभी कभी ऐसे होता है ना कि कैन री स्टार्ट द एग्जीक्यूशन कैन बी री स्टार्ट बोल रहा है वह जो भी एग्जीक्यूशन हो रहा था अगेन जो बिगनिंग से हो रहा था वो बिगिनिंग से शुरू हो हो जाएगा ओके एंड जो भी रिजल्ट उसका आएगा दैट बिकम इनकन्सिस्टेंट एंड इन एफेक्टिव अगर मैं अभी कोई बात करते रहूँ या कंटिन्यूस फ्लो में हूँ कोई अगर आके डिस्टर्ब कर दिया क्या मेरा बात वहीं से शुरू होगा नहीं कुछ ना कुछ मैं ऐड करूँगी मीन्स अगेन वो बात को मैं शुरू करूँगी हो सकता है ओके सो दिस इज री स्टार्ट सो एलिमिनेट सर्कुलर वेट द नेक्स्ट वन एलिमिनेट सर्कुलर वेट So to avoid this condition, assign a unique integer number to all the resource type in a system and arrange the resource in the particular order. So there means increasing order. Me rakhe ho one, two, three, four, five, R one, R two, R three, R four, five, R n. Okay. So the unique number allows us to compare two resources and determine which one precedes, sorry, precedes another in our ordering of resource. Also enforce condition that. Each process requests resources in an increasing order of enumeration. So there are two approaches enforce these rules. That is, first approach include. यहाँ पे एक example दिया हुआ है जब if P1 process is allocated R5 resources. Now next time if P1 ask for R4, R3 lesser than R5, such request will not be granted. Only request for the resources more than R5 will be granted. Okay, so एक यहाँ पे हम लोग एक numeric number assign कर रहे हैं. Okay, जैसे मैं बोली R1 resource R1, R2, R3, R5. Okay, so जब मैं R5 को hold करके रखी हूँ, उससे नीचे वाला कोई resource आया, that is R2 आया, so that is not granted. So वो resource उसको नहीं मिल सकता. So to violate circular way, we can assign a priority number to each of the resource, and a process cannot request for a lesser priority resource. And this ensures that not a single process can request a resource which is being utilized by some other process, and no cycle will be formed. So यहाँ पे मैं बोल रही हूँ the first approach कि if a process is holding some resource and the highest order of the resource is m, that is मान लो कि वो फाइव है, then this process cannot request any resource of ordering smaller than n, that is your five. Okay, so अगर five से r five से नीचे कोई resource आया, r three आया, तो वो उसको follow नहीं करेगा. Okay, तो वो उसको नहीं मिलेगा. So for example, if the process is holding resource जो बोली कि r five, then this process cannot request any resource that is r two. Where R2 is less than R5 in ordering of the resource, and the second approach kya hoga? Now, if a process is holding some resource that is R5 and request for the resource R3, where R3 is less than R5 in ordering of the resource, then this process has to reach R5 in order to acquire R3. Okay. So both above approach allows processes to wait for resources, but ensures that the waiting is not circular, so that deadlock condition does not arise in the system. So यहाँ पे वो एक दूसरे के लिए wait कर रहे हैं, but यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है ना? Do not make any circular wait. Okay, हम लोग resource allocation graph में भी देखे थे कि वहाँ पे सर्कुलर वेट कंडीशन हो रहा है, but some instance of time अगर instance अगर 
two instants are there or three instants are there in that case uh, circular weight condition may or may not occur so circular weight hum log padhe the circular weight with deadlock and circular weight without deadlock bhi hum log padhe the that is this one multiple instance yaha pe jo t2 holding <coughs> yaha pe agar dekho yaha pe with deadlock kyun ho raha hai agar p3 uh, requesting for the uh, resource that is r1 to yaha pe uh, uh, deadlock form hoga lekin uske pehle hum log dekhe the ki yaha pe dekho p3 aur koi circle form nahi kar raha hai that means each process is not रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर अदर रिसोर्सेस ओके तो यहाँ पे P1, uh, P2 ये सब सर्कल फॉर्म कर रहे हैं लेकिन यह जो मल्टी uh, इंस्टेंसेस है यहाँ पे दो तीन एंड uh, जो R2 टू रिसोर्स है वहाँ पे जो इंस्टेंस है और एक इंस्टेंस उसको P3 थ्री होल्ड करके रख रहा है बट P3 थ्री इज नॉट रिक्वेस्टिंग फॉर एनी अदर रिसोर्स तो यहाँ पे एक सर्कल फॉर्म नहीं हो रहा है तो इन दैट केस वी से दैट इज multi instances without deadlock ho raha hai okay so for today this much thank you